simply both fly leaves have been attached front and rear we need to glue the flaps down we encourage gently the flaps back because we need to paste them down now. We'll run a little straight glue board itself just so we can conveniently pick up with the brush. As we go along, each book is going to be a little different each with its own little discrepancies and problems. But this is the basics. It's just a matter of gluing down, making sure you don't have any little bits, no excess glue, carefully make sure you get right down into the crease and you're only interested in the flap. Don't worry about the board itself. You're only interested in the flap. In this case, we have a tear. That's okay. There's the edge, the inner edge of the tear. As long as you get that, you know everything's going to adhere. Again, as the brush gets dry on this side, turn it over. You'll find you have an, another 5,000 miles on the reverse. The paste slash glue charge of the brush. It goes from side to side as the brush action progresses and we are there's a little loose leather no problem the original leather turnover or what's left of it not a problem when you come to it just give it a few strokes with the brush and we wipe our fingers All this before the glue even thinks about drying. And press everything down. This material is so thick, I have no worry about distortion from moisture. What we are worried about is getting it as flat as possible. Fortunately, we're using heat and pressure. Use this paper down to protect the iron surface. And we press, and then we're going to redo the edge, uh, the shoulder edge, just to make sure we have a nice crisp Hinge line, like so. Take it off, allow the moisture to dissipate. Turn our resist film over because of the trap moisture. Now, we get serious. 
again. Push the board in up against the iron like so. Apply some serious pressure here. You want this join to be nice and clean. Now, since we're using heat, and again we turn the film over to dissipate any captured moisture, you want this join to be nice and clean. You don't want any sign of a lifted edge, so we apply serious, with the tip of the iron, we apply serious pressure to this point, right along, make sure it looks nice and clean, and again, one more time. Square up the edge. Right now we could be well advised to take our time and just make sure that all of the adhesive is set like so. The more patient you are at this particular point, the better the result will be. Remove the film, let the vapor escape, turn the film over, just give it all the time it needs to set securely. This is your one chance to do this right. I know this does look complicated, but again, you do this a dozen times, half a dozen times, and it's not that complicated. There you go. Now, there is a nice inner hinge square. It'll close flat, open flat. That's a nice joint. 